When you walk up to a roller coaster, you start to feel a sense of adrenaline and intimidation. And you might be thinking, there's no way in hell that you can ride this ride. These feelings pair wonderfully together when you ride any of these insane roller coasters on this top 10 that are found at parks all across the world. Starting off with a fan favorite, number 10. Steel Vengeance. Cedar Point's 205 foot tall hybrid coaster can be seen from pretty much anywhere in Frontierland. But it's not until you cross over the train tracks that you realize just how large Steel Vengeance really is. The sheer density of the wood structure really makes this coaster even more intimidating. Now one of the best coaster anticipation moments that you'll ever experience is when you walk right through the regular queue line and then you cross underneath the supports and then you realize that you're surrounded by this massive roller coaster called Steel Vengeance. A roller coaster that will most likely become one of your favorites. It really is a sight to behold and you have to experience it. Now the reason why I chose Vengeance over Millennium Force is simply due to the massive wood structure which gives you the feeling of doubt and you start wondering is this structure strong enough to not come tumbling down. And also, I love the unknown of what happens with the layout that is inside the wood structure that you cannot see from the queue line. Now, if you thought Steel Vengeance was intimidating, then you really need to head to Florida for Iron Gwazi, located at Busch Gardens, Tampa, which also happens to be a RMC hybrid coaster. Topping out at only one foot taller than Cedar Point's hybrid, Iron Gwazi offers the most intimidating lift hill structure here in America, and that is the Trust Lift. Gwazi is just intimidating in every aspect. The roller coaster offers a very tall and steep lift hill that does not offer a lot of supports and then you have the wild looking barrel roll down drop that actually travels through the lift hill structure. And when it comes to intimidation, height is not the only thing that makes the roller coaster intimidating because you have to factor in the ride speed and how fast the train travels through each element. Number 8. Karnan, located at Hansa Park. With a massive indoor lift hill that soars above the park at a height of 239 feet, the world's tallest Gerstler Infinity Coaster really is intimidating all around. Riders start off with a 90 degree lift hill in complete darkness. And these riders do not expect to experience something that has never really been done on a lift hill before. And mute this for 15 seconds if you do not want to know because I'm about to give you a huge spoiler alert. That's because Karnan offers a free fall drop on the ride's lift hill. Seriously, you gotta check out a full POV of the ride to see what I mean because it really does look insane. And then there's a secret inversion that you get to experience but you don't even know about or see until you're upside down. Karnan is such a unique ride experience that really does need to be on everyone's bucket list. But this roller coaster is so much more than just an indoor section. The ride's layout is so unique and offers airtime, wild looking transitions, and low to the ground turns. Now while you might be thinking that you do not have what it takes to ride roller coasters like this, but trust me, you'd be surprised. And to help you get over your fear of roller coasters, I created a video that maps out the perfect way to overcome your fear of roller coasters. And you can find the link for that in this video's description. Number seven. Theory 325 located at Carowinds. Here's a fun fact about the world's best Giga Coaster. Did you know that it offers the tallest lift hill on any roller coaster in the world? Standing at a height of 325 feet, this lift hill dominates the Carolinas and Carowinds. It really is rather spectacular. And from going over the first drop and looking pretty much straight down, you will get a sense of speed and adrenaline that you've never felt before. And I guarantee that. Theory 325 is not only tall, it is also very fast and long because at 6,602 feet, it's the longest steel roller coaster in America. Number 6. Wildfire 
Just when you thought RMC could not design a roller coaster with a better and more intimidating lift hill, they gave us Wildfire. Located at the one and only Camarden, this topper track wooden roller coaster really is just intimidating in every aspect. But what I find to be the most intimidating thing about the 183 foot tall roller coaster is the placement of the ride. The elevation around the coaster really plays into an effect and makes the structure and coaster look even more intimidating. Then when you go over the lift hill, the train goes through a slow paced curve that allows you to look out and see the bay of water in the distance and the park down below. Wildfire really is a thing of beauty and is a top 3 wooden coaster in the world. Now, if you're looking for some really cool coaster merch to wear in the parks, then you have to check out themeparkmerch.com because you're gonna find a lot of cool coaster merch that I designed myself. Number five, Cannonball, located at Utah's Lagoon. I honestly do not know what's more intimidating, the fact that Lagoon built this roller coaster in-house or its enormous first drop. Talk about impressive all around. Unlike Karnan, Cannibal offers an elevator lift hill that takes you all the way to the top of the indoor tower. Once the train reaches the top, all while you're in complete darkness, the doors then open up and you get what I call the most memorizing view from any roller coaster out there. A look at the Rocky Mountains off in the distance and the track tilting off in the distance at 116 degrees. And to make things worse, you're at a height of 208 feet above the ground. Now, if you don't get goosebumps with that thought, then something is not right. Number four, The Beast, Kings Island. Now you know the world's longest wooden roller coaster had to be a part of this top 10. I mean, after all, the only part of the layout that you can see from the park is the station and the lift hill, which leaves guests with uncertainty wondering what does the beast do in the woods, especially at night. The Beast also offers two lift hills, four tunnels, and a ride duration of over four minutes. Number three, Steel Curtain Kennywood. Featuring the world's tallest inversion at 197 feet tall, the Dragonfire Dive Drop really is a wild inversion. And to think that this insane inversion is taller than 95% of the other coasters that you've ridden. There are also a few other reasons why Steel Curtain is so intimidating. One, the restraints. Most roller coasters that feature inversions offer an over the head shoulder style of restraint. Well, not Steel Curtain, because this roller coaster only features a comfortable lap bar. And Kennywood's newest roller coaster features nine different inversions, which is the most here in America. And finally, this coaster's ugly Steeler color scheme. While I might be brave enough to be one of the only riders wearing a Joe Burrow Bengals jersey, while I'm enjoying my day at Kennywood, I still love Steel Curtain. And for all my Pittsburgh Steeler football fans out there, all I have to say is, who day? Number two, Intimidator 305, King's Dominion. The name of this intimate giga really does live up to the ride. That is because the tallest and fastest roller coaster at King's Dominion really is as intimidating as it looks, mainly due to the sheer size of the coaster's lift hill and, oh you know, how there are only two main supports holding up the 305 foot tall structure. The train descends the drop at an 85 degree angle and then what you really can't see from within the park is the part of the layout that is almost more intimidating than the lift hill and first drop. That first low to the ground turn is just amazing. And it's called the gray out turn because it happens to most of us. It's pure intimidating and full of adrenaline. But the best part is that's just the beginning of Intimidator 305 because the rest of the ride and layout is just perfect. Now you might be wondering why there are a few major intimidating roller coasters that are not on this list and mainly that's because I only included one roller coaster per park and this list is based off my opinions. So I wanted to share the ones that came in just outside of the top 10. Number 13, Helix, Bleasaberg. This mock multi-launch coaster just looks amazing. Number 12, 
The Voyage at Holiday World, one of the best wooden roller coasters you'll ever ride and one of the longest. And finally, number 11, the Smiler, located at Alton Towers. This roller coaster will flip you upside down so many times that honestly, you won't even know which way's up from down. And now for the most intimidating roller coaster in the world. And actually, I really can't just give it to one because in my opinion, there's two roller coasters out there that are equally as intimidating. So the first one is Kindaka, located at Six Flags Great Adventure. This intimate strata coaster is 456 feet tall, 128 miles an hour, and lasts only 28 seconds. A tower so tall that when you ride the ride at night, you can see the lights from New York City, Atlantic City, and Philadelphia. All three cities are located within an hour away from Great Adventure. That's how tall King Ka really is. And you know before you visit Great Adventure that you will be in the same park as the world's tallest roller coaster. And that thought alone is just intimidating. But just wait until you're waiting in line or the next aboard the train. And then on the train and you begin to roll slowly back knowing that within 3.5 seconds, you'll be traveling at speeds of 128 miles an hour. Then, as the train launches up the tower, you slowly go over the top hat and look straight down as the train travels through the 270 degree spiral. Intimidation is healthy, and everyone is intimidated a little bit by certain roller coasters. And the next one is Engineica, located at Japan's Fujiq Highland. This SNS fourth dimension roller coaster opened in 2006 and is even larger and better than X2 at Magic Mountain. Riders experience a track length of 3,782 feet, a height of 249 feet, three inversions, and a train that reaches speeds of 78 miles an hour. Engineica by far is one of the biggest coaster bucket list rides out there. And while I have yet to ride it, I'm very intrigued by this ride. And yes, this roller coaster is one that will intimidate the hell out of me. And I'm gonna question everything I'm doing until I'm like down the first drop. Intimidation is really healthy, and everyone, like I said, is intimidated a little bit by certain roller coasters. But just know that you, yes you, have what it takes to ride any roller coaster on this top 10. So which roller coaster do you find is the most intimidating and why? Be sure to let me know in the comments. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Remember to smile today, think positive, and keep riding coasters.